the crypt. <laughs> Howdy, Ilgrim. Laha. Uh -huh. It's Kai Noon. And you know what that means, don't ya? Means it's time for a gun fright at the OK Goral. <laughs> Cause this tomb ain't big enough for the both of us. Which brings me to tonight's tale. It's about a gunslinger who's about to ride into his last roundup. I call this prairie poison... Showdown. Let him catch us, Billy. We lost that posse three days ago. They're probably still chasing dust devils up in the territories. They're close. I see dust on the horizon. It's just the wind, Harley, friend. Just the wind. God, I hurt so bad. <laughs> Billy? <laughs> Here lies Harley Barrel. Initials on the gun belt. Take him up, you don't believe me. It's McMurdo, we've been at this for weeks now. Boys are tired. Talk about heading back. This grave's still fresh. It's not more than a few hours old. The rest of you want to quit, you go ahead. Me? I'm going after Quintain. for the night. Two horses. Hey, mister. What happened to that other rider?
Billy Quintain. I'm calling you out, Billy. You the one been tracking me? Thomas McMurdo. Tom. Texas Ranger, I heard about you. Hey, Tommy. We say you're the best there is. I gotta take you in, Billy. Uh-huh. Well, Ranger man. Tommy, make your move. Whiskey. Leave the bottle. You look like a card playing man. Deal him straight. Fast hands. So do you, friend. So do you. What are you trying to pull? Nothing, friend. Just try to prove a point. Which is? The hand is quicker than the eye. <laughs> Which brings me to my next point. Oh, forgive me. Uh, allow me to introduce myself. Cornelius Bosch, fresh out of Duluth. Y you ever been to Duluth, friend? Oh, no, I thought not. I'm here to tell you about a miracle of modern medicine. Dr. Silver's Wonder Tonic. Guaranteed to quicken the reflexes, sharpen the senses, and improve the vision. Even the fastest of us can use that extra edge, wouldn't you say, Mr. Quintain? Oh, did I forget to mention, today there's an extra discount. 10%. Go peddle your potion elsewhere, little man. I'm as fast as they is. Me final offer. One time only. I will give you a bottle of Dr. Silver's Wonder Tonic. Absolutely free. And if you do not see a difference, I'll pay you the dollar. I'll play along, little man. But you lose more than a dollar. I don't look kindly on being took for a fool. Oh, fair enough. Ain't nothing but snake oil. Uh, 
Are you all right? Damn it, that ain't the spitting image of Doc Holliday. A lawman. Lawman. He was a low-life bounty hunter till he caught up with me and Yuma and I put a hole right through that thin star of his. You mean he's deceased? Are you sure? Of course I am, because I'm the one who deceased him. <laughs> They're close. I hear hoofbeats. <laughs> it's just the wind, Harley, friend. Just the wind. William. William Quintain. Calling you out. Billy? What was in that tonic? Dad, oh, okay. oh, hey, ah. You slipped me some of them mushroom peyote things, didn't you? You scrawny little son of a... Billy. Frank? It's Jess. Don't go, Chabon. It's Jess. Frankie? Frank Little Bear. It's been a long time, Billy. But I killed... familiar face here. It's just the wind, Billy. Just the wind. All come to pay their respects. All those you killed. The guest of honor here today, Mr. Quintain. Who are you? You the devil himself? You come to snatch my soul? Just Cornelius Bosch, fresh out of Duluth. Caught in the crossfire when you robbed that Wells Fargo office back in Haddington, Missouri. A stray bullet, your stray bullet, I'm afraid. care to call it. It's a warm place. It's a quiet place. We're all there, Billy. All of us that live by the gun and died by it. We're brotherhood of the gun. You don't belong here. You belong with us. No, you listen. I killed each and every one of you men in a fair fight, and you got no cause to come slithering out of your grave to complain to me. As far as you old man, I am sorry. My time has passed. You don't belong here. None of us do. Like I said, I gotta take you in. I shot you dead, Tom McMurdo. True enough. But you don't recall what happened after that, do you? I came in here. Oh, you remember walking away from my body? Crossing the street? Coming up those saloon steps? Can you honestly say? It's all a blank, isn't it? You don't remember at all. You're just like us. Well, you ain't got sense enough to admit it. Accept it, Mr. Quintain. Accept it. Accept it, Billy. Accept it, Billy. Accept it. Go away! You're dead and I'm alive! I'm alive! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Okay, folks, step right on in now. There's still lots to be seen. Come on, hurry. Hey. Now, it may interest you folks to know that this saloon has got its very own ghost. A ghost? Big Bart? And not just any ordinary ghost either, little fella. Turn that thing off. 
but I'm talking about the ghost of Billy Quintain himself. Yes, sir, Reed, the fastest gun in the West. But his luck ran out on him the day that old Tom McMurder caught up with him. Tracker Tom, the Texas Ranger. Oh, and what a showdown it was, too, folks. Both men drew and both men fired. But it was Tracker Tom that hit the dust, struck down by the outlaw's bullet. But we all know that Tom McMurder didn't come to town alone that fateful day. His posse was hit out all over this town. And the moment that Tom bit the dust, that posse cut down Billy Quintain. Yes, sir, -y. out of every window, every rooftop, out of every doorway they come, a flinging lead at him. And they tell me, some folks do, that late at night, if you listen real close, you can hear the voice of that poor lost soul up there, a whistling and a crying through the rafters of this saloon, screaming like a banshee. Well, that's enough of that, folks. Let's mosey on down the trail. There's still a lot more to be seen here. Step right over this way. Don't Don't Leave me. Leave me. Quentin, I'm calling you out. I gotta take him, Billy. Well then, Ranger Man. Tommy, make your move. Good evening, Tommy. Come on, 
you sorry sons of bitches! Tom McMurdo, Texas Ranger. Billy Quintain, outlaw. I was fast, wasn't I? Damn fast, Billy. Damn fast. You ready? Let's ride. Shooter. Who'd have thought being a cowboy could stir up so many bad feelings? <laughs> well, kitties, I've got to go. There's a ghoul rush on, you know. Hmm, I wonder. Who was that mashed man?